Good evening. Welcome to the Wednesday, January 17th. 22nd. Uh, 22nd. Oh, that's last week. Sorry. <laughs> that's the date yeah. we pass them out. <laughs> Already. <laughs> Park and Rec meeting. I'd like to welcome everyone. We first also want to send our prayers to our chairman, Joe Lembo, who is recovering uh, from an illness, and we want to just send our prayer and love to him, as we always do. Um, let's go around and introduce ourselves, but first, well, actually... Why don't we uh, do it a little bit different today? We have two new great members, and we want them to introduce themselves and tell us a little bit about themselves. Um, and I'll start with the great Debbie Davis, legend of uh, Orange. Here you go, Deb. Tell us Hi. a little bit about yourself. Debbie Davis. I am a retired phys ed teacher from Amity High School after 34 years, and it's a pleasure to be here tonight. Yeah. Welcome, Welcome, Debbie. Thank you, dear. Jack Pritchard. Our, new, our second new member, welcome. Hi, good evening, thank you. Thanks for uh, having me here. Uh, my name is Jack Pritchard. I've been in town pretty much most of my life uh, uh, with a, a small stunt of about maybe 10, 12 years out of town. Uh, look forward to helping and working with some of you uh, that I haven't met before and I know some of you from the past, so look forward to it. Welcome, Jack. Welcome, Jack. Okay, we'll go around and introduce ourselves. First, Chuck. <clears throat> Chuck Stackpole. Jim Rone. Steve Pesputa. Dave Kors. Jack Pritchard. Deb Satonic. Dan Lynch. Welcome. Uh, usually we have the call to order, and then we go to public dialogue. In public dialogue, we have as guests sitting at the table here uh, the president of Orange Little League, Mike Visnick. So welcome, Mike. Why don't you give us the update of Orange Little League and where you stand? And I know there's still snow down there in Old Tavern, but <laughs> I know you're ready to go. We are ready to go. Um, Orange Little League, uh, we're very sound uh, financially and uh, participation-wise. Last year, our uh, numbers were up, and this year we look for them to remain uh, about where they were last year. Um, one of the big things that happened this year is softball, who has been joining with Beth Wood, Bethany and Woodbridge for the last couple years and been joining together with them to play, um, this year it's going to be official that uh, they are going to play under our charter as Amity Softball. So that's one of the big things happening this year, uh, that all three towns will be under the Orange Little League charter playing as Amity Softball. Great. Um, another big thing that we're looking to do this year is get Internet access uh, down at the fields uh, for a couple different reasons. Uh, one reason is for... Uh, for the parents, we're looking to provide them with Game Changer. Uh, we're hoping it happens this year so that any parent that has multiple kids and can't make it to the games, they'll be able to watch uh, the game on Game Changer. Um, that's one of the things. And the other thing is we're looking to hopefully accept credit cards in the snack stands. Um, that's going to be a, a big thing. Not sure if that's going to actually happen this year. Uh, first, we have to get the Internet access. I've been working with uh, Comcast and with the town. Uh, to get that going. Um, other than that, we're looking forward to a to a great season, and uh, you know the fields fields are in good shape, and uh, we'll start our cleanup probably in a, about a month and a half, two months. Great. Any, any questions, questions for Mike? Hey, Mike. Um, any what, uh, what's like the slate for the summer tournaments and stuff like that? There, just out of curiosity, is it still Sea Breeze districts? What's uh, what's happening in the summer? Do you any, any idea? Yeah, it's pretty much the same. It'll be the same routine. We will host a, a significant number of games right at our complex, um, and that gets all, that'll all get decided uh, probably at the next district uh, meeting, which is in February. I believe it's February 15th. Softball play all their games in Orange, or do they play in Woodbridge and Bethany too? Um, they do play some in, in Bethany and Woodbridge as well. They, they kind of split them up, but I think the majority of the games – will still remain in orange. So the, the teams are <coughs> combined from the th – all the kids aren't – like they don't have an orange team, a Woodbridge team, a Bethany team. They're all combined. Correct. They're all combined, yeah. Right. They're all mixed and, right. and mingled together, similar to a hardball. Okay. Hardball is the same way. All right. Our yeah, charter – and it, our, the charter for hardball is always covered all three towns. Now, uh, now softball is doing the same. That's good, though. Yeah, no, it's great. It's increased participation. Um, it, it's been a great, great thing for everyone, honestly. So how many teams do you have for softball? For softball, 
I believe we're going to have, I want to say, three majors and four minors. Okay. And right. then, you know, we always have T-ball, which is a combination of, of girls and boys. Good start. Yeah, yeah. No, it's and T-ball, uh, the numbers, just be, there, was a, uh, there was a date change, um, your birth date change uh, last year. So this year, the numbers at the, in the majors for hardball is going to be a little bit down. But numbers for T-ball last year, we had record number of T-ball players okay. last year. And we expect that to, to continue so this year. We had a hard time even, you know, scheduling all the games in because there were so many teams. What's the fee now? The fee is $180 uh, if you register prior to um, prior to evaluations, which we haven't set yet. Um, and then it's $200 after that. Is there anything built into the fee for field maintenance <coughs> or capital improvements? There is, uh, there is um, actually not cap capital improvements. We don't have anything on the on the schedule right now for capital improvements, but we have, you know, general maintenance. Uh, usually that is mainly mounds. We do a lot of work on the mounds throughout the course of the season. So when uh, this is going back a few years, there was always a major fundraiser. Used to be golf tournaments and. Is the league still doing that? You guys still doing that, or we, we haven't done the golf tournament in in a couple of years? Uh, participation. It was very difficult to get people. You know, everybody's working and everyone mm -hmm. has a hard time taking time off of work. So the numbers mm -hmm. for the golf tournaments were slowly dwindling. So we haven't done that in a number of years. Lately, we've been focusing on uh, sponsorships to provide most of the fundraising we've done you know, a lot of that, and that's what mm. we're looking to keep up with this year, you know, selling banners and selling sponsorships, team sponsors it's has been the majority of our fundraising. The, is there a group within the league, because we uh, we just went through this, and we did it with Brindley and De Janeiro, um, with us in the town, put in, what, is it $25,000 roughly? Probably even more? More, about 40. Yeah, 40, yeah, okay. About well, I know when we used to, we used to have a five-year capital plan when I was on the executive board, and you could, in some years we would do nothing. I mean, that's very reasonable if that's what the executive board decides, but we have a five-year plan always. Um, what, what are some of the things that might be coming down the road that might be needed uh, that your group was at least discussing? Yeah, one of the things we've been discussing is uh, adding another batting cage up up between uh, Roach and Goldberg, parallel to the one that's already there. Gotcha. Um, other than that, it's just you know getting the internet access to the fields. We, t we you know we take good care of the fields and we constantly maintain them. So there really isn't a, a heck a of a lot to you know completely redo. Other than Goldberg, uh, Goldberg, we do have a drainage issue there, and Still. Uh, you know we considered putting um, putting turf. You know, at least in front of the dugouts and around behind, uh, in front of the backstop there, just to increase drainage so that, mm -hmm. you know, it, it seems like we put down new clay and it just drains right down in behind Goldberg down over the hill there. And it's, uh, you know, that's that's another thing that we we could. So even do in the next even few that years. we we look at even the the new clay as part of the upgrades. You might just look at it as new as maintenance. But clay is a very expensive, and we know that. So that that is an upgrade that Little League does. So yeah. you give yourself more credit, and that's I think because we're just we're always really concerned because it's the we have the two other fields that aren't covered that you guys don't use, and we're we've become sensitive to that. So we just want to maintain everything. You always have done a great job, but we just want to make sure that it's it's the it's the same type of upgrade and input you know that's been done years and years and years so yep so any other questions from committee members i was going to ask about the video you said you're going to
video of the game or live stream the game? Uh, I mean, we discussed that. First, we want to get the internet there. That's definitely a possibility. We'd like to do that as well. But the game changer is uh, scoring of the games. Oh, just your scoring. So, yeah, just the scoring. So, that, you know, parents can... Yeah, yeah, it's an app on your phone. But but there is discussion about video. We are looking into, you know, what we can do with that and the bandwidth that we're going to have once we get the Internet there, um, you know, what we're going to have to be able to do things like that where parents may even mm -hmm. be able to watch from one camera behind home plate, right. be Large able to stream. watch. The yeah, game. A, lot of right. a, lot of, a lot of tournaments yeah. do that. Yeah, yeah. oh, absolutely. It, it's it's these guys. Yeah. You guys, maybe they could help out too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good idea. Chuck has to turn on his mic. It's Chuck. <laughs> it's Chuck. <laughs> <That's all right. laughs> uh, internet access. Is the internet access going to be authenticated? Meaning, um, do you have to sign into it just to uh, be our participant, or is it going to be open um, internet? The internet will be closed. It will be closed. It'll be just for the administration of what we're doing. People will be able to access whatever we're doing through apps, but they will not be using our from their the network. internet service from Middle gotcha. East. No. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Smart move. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Smart move. Yeah. 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 No, I was just curious. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Mike, Thank you, for Mike. all that you're volunteering hours. I know you've been involved for a while. <laughs> we appreciate it. Um, it. It means a lot to the town and your work. Your work does mean something. I know it probably Absolutely. doesn't some days and it doesn't feel that way, but we, we definitely appreciate all that you do, and you, your family is a valued family in Orange. So thank you, and thanks for coming out on a Wednesday night and giving us the update. Thank you, Jim, and thank you, everyone, for thanks, having Mike. me here. Thanks I for appreciate coming out it. Tonight. Thanks, Mike. Thanks. Good luck next year. Thank you. Good luck. Okay, we're going to do the approval of the December minutes. Can I have a motion? Uh, I'll make a motion. Thank you. Second? I'll second it. Second by Steve. All favor to approve. Or any additions? We first, since we got the second. Any additions, deletions? Everything looked good. Yep. Good. Motion to approve. I'll make I mean, a motion. You already did. Oh. We did. So, uh, oh. motion to accept. Oh, okay. We have to Everybody, vote. We yeah, just have to vote. vote. Yeah. Yeah. Just all in favor. Oh. Yeah. We got we got three, we got four <laughs> abstains and we got oh, the I three of us were here. Yeah, yeah, I approve. That was it. Yeah. <laughs> Next we have old business. Questions from previous meeting. Danny? There wasn't much because we had a quick meeting in uh, December. And, uh, Anything I go over, I'll go over in the director's report. There okay. Much from Great. Last month. New business, grounds and facilities. Steve? I have nothing to report. Very quiet. Personnel is me. I have nothing to report. C is budget. Why don't we take a two-second look at the budget? I just want to highlight one thing in here in mm -hmm. case you guys pick up on it. It's under the, um, the pool, the aquatics uh, page. Just page 58. Uh, you'll see a uh, negative in the overtime account there. I had to um, transfer some monies over from a few different accounts here. And um, John Cifarelli, our finance director, had to bring it before the finance board just to get it approved because it is a salary uh, line item. Just so you know, it's going to get taken care of, but it's just got to go through the correct protocol because it is a salary line item. And um, for some reason last year, the um, finance board zeroed that out. I don't know why, because uh, our aquatics department does get overtime and our aquatics director does get overtime. Um, I don't know with how that slipped through the cracks, what it did, but I had the monies to transfer over, so it'll be taken care of. You'll see that within the next month or so. Just wanted to give you a heads up, because that is one of the ones so that you still see no, the negative. Still no impact to the budget, though? Like no, it's no. no. So not at all. So we're right now at. Uh, did you? You got the transfer to the zero it out. We still have well, some months. I put, I put extra okay. in there to cover that's, it for the rest of the fiscal so, year. And then it'll be part. Of, it'll be discussed at budget time to yes. get it back. Yep. To it. Okay. Yep. 
Any did now that you've opened additional costs? Any anything else that unforeseen with it come to the pool now? No, not at all. Good. Those locker rooms are gorgeous, by oh. the way. Yeah. Have you have you guys anyone anyone else gone down there to see them? You gotta go you down gotta go there. It's, 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 a, it's a big it's like we're, difference. It's like we're, we're <laughs> finally in the 21st century. <laughs> I'm not at my grandma's uh, locker room anymore. Yeah, it's it is really nice. They did they did it right, you know. In the new wing, I've had a number of uh, lacrosse meetings for girls lacrosse um, up on the new wing. That's awesome. High Plains looks like a different place. Um, I I hope that they look at the gym that's eventually. Right. Yeah, yeah that's. that's next. So that that would be next, and it would be appropriate for the the way we run the town now. So it's it's right on. But the the facility is gorgeous overall. Okay, so that's the budget, uh, our usual, and, and everything else looked Dan like right on. So that's good. Great job. Mm -hmm. um, director's report. You're okay. up. Got a few things to go over. Once again, I'd like to welcome Debbie and Jack to our board. Nice to have two extra members now. Welcome aboard. I updated the list. I can email it to you as well, so please take a copy. Everybody's contact information that's on the board. Um, so you have it. I will email it to you also tomorrow, so you have it. We have full staff now? We are at full staff. Yes, which is nice. Um, when I put my packet together, my information together last week, um, there was no skating at Wright's Pond, but as of yesterday, there is. So please disregard my parks report under the director's report because there are people skating out there over the last two days because it has been cold. Uh, There's a good number there when oh, I yeah. tonight. Which, which is a good thing. That's nice. Um, so, so Dan, are we, are we checking the ice yes. now? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Our guys so they check, check every day? Yep. Yeah, Chris wow. was on Channel 8. Yeah. He I made uh, yeah, oh, really? with, uh, yeah, he was he made it on Channel with Tony Terzi. Good job, good yeah. job. They, they Tony came, came to the office. Guys? Yeah, I talked right. to Tony. He he asked me a bunch of questions and then said, Can I get your guy to meet me out at the pond? <laughs> I called him up. He went right sure. out there and he yeah. interviewed him right at the pond. God, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, when was, was that? Yesterday? Oh god, that oh, was, was a couple days ago. It was uh, earlier this week, I think. No, it was a f or was it last week? No, it was a while ago. It was a few I, weeks ago, unless they repeated it. They must have repeated they it. They had to have because it got so cold. <laughs> yep. This that's was <laughs> like about three weeks ago. Oh no way. Yeah. So yeah, oh, so yeah. he was actually out there and they were yep. interviewing Chris and the whole process oh, and how they Chris. did that. It was it was good PR. Yeah. I was on channel eight. It was on channel late yeah i saw it yeah it was, I, I just saw it a couple days ago it just happened right. to see it. awesome um there's an aquatics report attached along with a programs report i have that's the aquatics report's not in your packet so i'm going to pass that around as well sue was away for the weekend so i didn't get hers um on the programming end um the adult volleyball league is heading into its sixth week of play men's basketball league is heading into its fourth week of play the Volleyball League for Debbie and Jack, we play at High Plains. And the Men's Basketball League is played at the Amity Middle School over on uh, Ullman Avenue there. Um, Youth Basketball League is heading into its seventh week of games already. Uh, the Ski Bums program is, is still going currently, heading into its third week. We did not go the first week uh, because of the rain. Uh, so we go, we've been going to January 10th, and we'll go until February 7th, weather permitting. So this Friday is week number three. That program is at full capacity. We still have room for our um, upcoming trips to Mount Peter, Butternut, and Thunder Ridge ski trips. Those are Saturday, February 8th, Saturday, February 29th, and Friday, March 20th, which there's no school that day um, in that order. Experienced skiers, please, boys and girls, 5th to 11th grade. If you are interested, please come down to the Park and Rec Department and sign up. Okay. On our website, we have a what's new page. Uh, we do it every season. Please check it out. We are still taking registration for preschool, youth, and adult programs. Any questions, call the office, check the website, or stop by the office. We still have room in a lot of these programs. Some of them are starting next week. Some have started this week. We've had a lot of people sign up at the last minute. Some classes we were about to cancel. We got last-minute registration, so we were able to run them. Oh, good. Um, we, we get that a lot. Everybody signs up last minute. It's hard to run programs when you 
get people signing up at the last minute. But please, if you're at home and you're interested and you're seeing this, please come down to the office and register. Or if you have any questions, check the website or give us a call. And our April vacation camp is right around the corner. Registration starts for that on Tuesday, February 18th, the day we come back after President's Day. Um, that's running through Monday, April 13th through Friday, April 17th. That is the week after Easter. Okay. And as I said, the aquatics report is attached along with the programs report. If you have any questions, I will be happy to answer them. Great. Any questions from any commission members? Okay. Well, I guess, uh, Deb, you, you had one thing you want to talk about? Oh, yeah. 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 Believe oh, what's our <laughs> Yeah, you're on. He always has my back. Always. That's all right. He's a good man. Um, I guess the word was out that I was put on the Park and Rec Commission, and I received a letter today <laughs> about... Uh, an issue, then if you don't mind, I'd like to read that real quick. Yeah. Just to, okay. Until last week, this is about the gymnasium. Mm -hmm. Until last week, you had the gym every afternoon at 1 p.m. for regular play of pickleball. Of course, the gym is used for blood drives, flu, cl uh, flu clinics, orange players, Lions Club, blah, 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 blah. So every day is certainly not daily. And we play outside from late spring through the fall. Last week, Park and Rec began offering Nerfkins on Thursday afternoon starting at 1.15 until 2. Nerfkins was previously offered at the morning, but some parents requested afternoons, so we were told no pickleball on Thursdays by Dennis Marsh. Chris Healy and I asked if we could have 1.15 or two hours in the morning instead. Dennis said there was a fitness in the gym until 10, and he thought the gym was free until Nerfkins at 1.00 but he would only talk to one person about this issue, Mary Anders. Mary came back to us and said there was no time for us to play. We had 12 players today. We set up the net, took it down ourselves. No custodial work is required. We buy our own balls and paddles. We are seniors who enjoy the physical and social interaction with each other. We spend time laughing at ourselves and each other. <laughs> In a nutshell, if the gym is free and our regular time is being used for other services, can we use the free time instead? And she just signed her name. Mm -hmm. So I, I, you know, I said I would look into it. I think the gym, I'll be honest with you, needs a makeover very badly. The floor is warped, and it, it's somewhat unhealth, unsafe for the kids. But um, pickleball is one of the biggest up-and-coming sports there is around here, especially mm -hmm. for seniors. Yeah. So I don't know if... Park and Rec is in charge, or senior citizens, that group. So do we work together? I mean we work together. It's a senior group that does the pickleball, so it's under community services and their oh, senior activities. Um, they do use the gym. We do have a couple classes that conflicted with their time, uh -huh. and they were informed of it, and they were you know, adaptive yeah. to it. Um, and they're able to use it before or after when we're done, okay. um, and they were good with it. So I, I don't have a problem with them using it before or after. Okay. It's just two days that they're going to get, and it's only for a six-week program. So okay. um, it really won't affect them that much during that time slot. Um, but they're more than willing, so more than free, able to use it before or after okay. those, those certain will, programs are done. Sure. Thank you. I will go back. Oh, yeah, and sure. And, we, and I, we've dealt with them. We, we talked to them, too. Okay. We, well, I we kind of thought, to, I mean, I was floored when I was, oh, here we go. Tell her to well, go down and see Dan. Yeah, that's Dan what you do. Tell her to go talk to Dan. We've talked, we've talked, I've yeah. talked to them, and, I've, and we communicate well, well with I the department. Oh, yeah. Dan Mar I'm not sure. If I so the other that. days, the other three days of the week, they could use oh, that time, use right? Time. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And so, those days that we do have it on Wednesday and Thursday, they're more than willing to well, use it. Well, I'm going to just tell them, I'll go down with them and let's, we'll get it all straightened out. I thought we had it straightened out, to be honest with you. I was very surprised when Yeah. All right, there you go. Your Dennis problem Marsh and Welcome I, to the park and rec. Here right. we go. Dennis Marsh and I <laughs> had it all, all set. Okay. Good. Good. So the, only, the thing, getting back to what you were talking about, I have talked to the first selectman about the floor. I have yeah. put it on my yeah. personal capital planning uh, list, but it's okay. now under the town. So it's yeah. the town. He's well aware of it, okay. obviously. So um, hopefully that's coming soon. And okay. you've done a lot of work at the yeah. facilities in the last few years. 
Yeah. So I and think that is the next the thing that was on our thing. left. That's the next thing. Yeah. 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 That, and, and then they're talking about building some tennis court, redoing some yeah. tennis it's court. That's yeah. getting done in the spring. And in the can spring. I just ask one more? Yeah, sure. please, Dad. The, is there any way of getting padding on those walls? In the, there used to be. I know there's no padding on the like walls. Like we could, we could, pro we could probably put that as a list um, to Jim when they start to redo okay. it. You we'll have to, sure. Danny will be a consultant yeah. if they redo just, if they redo the gym. Yeah. Danny would be the uh, consultant. If? No, sure. there's no if. No, no <laughs> there is no, no if. if. There's no if in. I, I'm with. I'm sure it's on the plate with Jim. <laughs> yep. You know, Jim okay. is is very good and he's a huge yes, supporter of. Yes, he did a great job with athletics. the pool. Yeah. So. Yep. The pool, did a pool in the front of the yeah. building. Unbelievable. The parking lot, which was you know needed. Awesome. Yep. No, he it, did a and great that, job. And the lacrosse fields, he wound up. Yeah. Supporting him heavily, so he's he yep. he's a, he, you know and he's doing the playground down at Fred Wolf, so. Yeah. He considers all those different things yeah. in the different groups a okay. high priority. So we've yeah. always had a good uh, spot at the table. Mm -hmm. um, we should make sure we have representation at the table with Ralph Oakenquest's oh, yeah. um, table because we usually – so just yeah, let me we know We have that um, to tomorrow with the Sam Pro machine that we put in for for Chris. Okay, so you're right. Okay, yep. perfect. Oh, okay. And then the only other, only, only the other thing that I could add to, Debbie, is that uh, the pickleball has been a com com yep. co topic of conversation for years <laughs> years on this. So we're very well aware of um, of, uh, of that and yeah. uh, as well with the tennis courts and, you know, to uh, you know to Jim's comment about uh, communication to that. Yeah. So th there's going to be consideration for that as well okay. when well, with a new tennis court this was, for this outside. Was, you know, new, I just, oh, surprise, yeah. here we go. Yeah. That's fine, you bring it here, though. That's good. So, yep. Thank you, gentlemen. You got Thanks, Deb. It's good. Well, okay. The chairman's report. I'll step in again. Uh, I can't say it enough. How we send our our love and prayers to Joe and his family. Um, again, uh, you know, we'll we'll keep trugging along. Uh, I'll try to. Won't be able to fill the the, the slot because he's done it for so long. But I'll do my best. Um, we can also talk about if <laughs> I have lacrosse season coming up. So we're, we're going to have to probably next month discuss. Um, some uh, possible long-term uh, solutions if we need be, just because there'll be some Wednesdays I might be at a game. Uh, sure. So we'll talk about yeah, that. We're working that out. Yeah, sure. uh, not a big problem. Uh, what else? I think, as we said, everything is really good. Uh, one of the things that came to my mind through this is we're at that time, um, all the public who's watching, all the registrations are open. As Dan said, it came last minute. The same thing with softball and baseball. And I also have to give my pitch that boys lacrosse opened up their registration uh, for the three towns and girls lacrosse opened up their registration this week for the three towns. So the earlier you register, you save money. Um, I think you know, Mike said it. I know from Bill McNeil and from uh, Carly and John Costanza, who now run uh, the boys lacrosse, that the same things. You get discounts if you sign up early uh, because these these organizations if they know their numbers it, it cr creates a better plan for them as they go forward so please if you have young children register think about these opportunities and if you have any questions call the park and rec uh, department any other questions or comments from the committee members i just had a question yeah. you mentioned before uh, fred wolf mm -hmm. so uh, is there a plan for that space that's been cleared out have you seen what the plan yeah, just the, right now it's just the playground nothing else has been it's quite a Pretty big area, right? yeah. Isn't there, there going to be a road there too? Isn't well, the, the roadway is going to stay where it is yeah. for right now. The plan is to put the <coughs> playground, I think, kind of near that big tree, right, Dan? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what. And I'm then, saying. yeah. Uh, when the first, I was down there the other day. Well, I took a run down there, but on the right side, right? Yeah. You, you have the stone wall. Right, and it goes all the way down. It goes up. <clears throat> they're gonna. I think they're going to realign the parking lot so the vehicles come up on the side, mm -hmm. and then so you could park more cars, you know, in the in the soccer side okay. by the wood chips yeah. instead of you know, and then I don't know I don't quote me but I believe the playground will go somewhere near the wall in the in the that tree that the big tree that's left there okay. I'm not a hundred percent sure, and then the rest of it will be put into grass so I don't know if it's big enough for you know a softball field or a, a baseball field I mean you know it could be use smaller fields for maybe you know 
I don't know. Whatever. It's it'll a pretty be big, open it's pretty field. big area that's been yeah, cleared it is. out. And it will be pretty flat. So, it, yeah, you know, no, it, 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 it looks great. It, and then, you know, they'll make a plan for what they want to do down the road with it. Yeah. It's cleared. Right. It will be grassed and park and rec will mow it. And then they're going to put a driveway in for, a, you know, another access road. Right. Emergency. Down emergency with, I guess we'll have a gate on it, mm-hmm. you know, for emergency access because right now you only come in off of, of the one way. Right, sure. right. Yeah. Which is at least they cleared that out too. too. That right. was, that yes. was widened yeah, by the, yep. the roadway. It looks good. I'm sure once that starts better. going, when the weather gets better, <laughs> the playground will have more of an idea of what's yeah. happening yeah. down there after that. But I mean, once that's constructed, because that's from the grant money, right? Yep. Yeah. So yeah. we have the money to do it. So not to cause a problem, but how does that playground fit in the plan that we had, or does we're going off the plan? The plan that plan's dead. It's going. They're going off the plan a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, we're two, off the plane with what we have already, though. There was a playground there, there but not play. necessarily right. in that There's fix, no right? <laughs> no, there, no, there was, no, there was a there plan. There's so a playground down there. I had talked to the first selectman about this. There was a grand opportunity, um, and one of the things is, is if you have the nursery school or anywhere, if you put a playground where there's a nursery school, there is no opportunity to use it during the day. Um, like behind Town Hall. They, um, the public can't use these. Um, his original plan was to, uh, I think, put this playground up at High Plains. But because the nursery uh, school was coming back, he, you know, then you would have it off limits during the day. So then I think he looked at other options, and that's how Fred Wolf came up, and he brainstormed. No, I, I think it, we said we were going to put one there anyway. Yeah. It's fine. I just was wondering if it was going anywhere near where we had anticipated and how that would affect long-term stuff there, but whatever. It's, as long as they're think, getting I the playground. The and changed, well, I think when the road changed, it well, changed the whole What plan. we were originally yeah, to do. trying to do was come in off of Peck Lane, right, exactly. and, and it was something with the Ar- Army, Army Corps, Engineer, Corps, Army Corps, Corps of Engineers. Engineers. So we would have had to build the bridge, which right. would have been cost prohibitive, and I believe... That money was a grant from the state. Mm-hmm. Was I w- w- yeah, a certain yeah, right. a yeah. certain grant from the state? Yep. Right. And as long as they're using it for something else in yep. the park, I yeah. believe the town could That's keep great. it. That's great. Great, we're gonna yeah. get it. Is the only, my only concern long term, and I know that he's smart enough. He's done this a million times. Is if we're gonna do more expansion and more at Fred Wolf Park. Maybe not exactly as it was drawn up, and who knows that you know plans the best the laid plans close, are. Yeah. We just want to make sure that. Egresses are allowable, and access to water and electricity, mm-hmm. and all the things that may need to be put in. Should we decide to put another field in there that needs lights and water, and mm-hmm. like that's, yeah, you know, I hate doing things twice. I know every, m- most people do, especially if you're a homeowner and you've gone through this <laughs> stuff, only to realize you should have done it a different way. Yeah, you know, that's all. Yeah, but I, I mean, they're not, you know. I'm sure you guys, there's some people much smarter than I who are looking at this, so yeah. I'm going to defer to them. But, <laughs> but it's there's a concern. No, there's sure. no, yeah, right. I understand the concern, but there's no plan right now to expand anything, any fields. Not today, but right. in Down five years, somebody right. may say, hey, we, let's put a field in. They'll say, well, we can't. we got a jungle gym and a playground on top of where we need to dig, so... We're gonna have to get rid of that and redo it. I just don't uh, want to. It seems you know, like if, if the that. park is where I think it is, it's kind of along the tree line and and the back of the houses, right? Yeah, yeah. I think so that was why really he put it back there. It's not gonna impact any future. I'm just asking because there's a questions. big area. Yeah. On the I'm other good. Side I'm happy we're getting clear. it, so it's fine with me. Yeah, and I believe they are putting electricity to the playground, weren't yes. they, Dan? Mm-hmm. Yes, I have heard for, that too. For lighting and stuff. Yep. For security lighting. Yes. One quick question. Playground. When you drive in, you are facing the soccer fields. Correct. Mm-hmm. Is the playground going to be next to that? It's going to be on the right, near the wall. You drive in, it's right on the right. There, there, there's Before a wall. You get to the soccer Have you field. been in there, Debbie? Oh yeah. Have you seen it since it's been cleared? No. Cleared? No. The no they're, they're, when you used to drive in, there was a pile of stone right. and a pile of loom. Yeah. That is now gone. Oh. So, and there's a stone wall there. It will be to the right side. Of, of that stone. the stone wall, and then if up a little farther you went to the right, and then you 
went along the soccer fields in the woods and then okay. to go back to the lacrosse fields. Okay. But it's on the side of that wall over there. Is there going to be a walkway where kids can walk from that playground to meet their parents or whatever? I'm sure. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Well, yeah. be, I think there'll be a little parking lot right next yeah, to it. Yeah, there should be parking. There'll be parking right next to it. Running across there. Okay. Yeah, so the kids yeah, aren't running across. Yeah. Yeah. Because that's kind of a problem down at old taverns right. sometimes. Right, right. Yeah, all the time. You okay. know, kids kids running across, yeah, especially we, OT1 we were actually and two. trying to, remember that loop for, yep. for years? I was trying to close that loop, remember? Yep, mm-hmm. yep. We weren't very successful. Okay, that. now I got it. Okay, thank you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the land was cleared. I think one of the October. things, I, and I understand, because Jim's been, uh, you know, a, a town member, and I, I was part of the originally of adding that, that back parking lot um, at, uh, old, at Old Tavern that we did about now 10 years ago. Um, and when we looked at it, and you look at the ball fields, they were sort of put in by volunteers piecemeal, and that's years. over the years, and that's why it's caused some of our limitations up at Old Tavern. As much as it's a beautiful, gorgeous facility, it causes a lot of limitations. And we sort of have the same type of, you know, Fred Wolf still has probably five acres of undeveloped, property you know back there i mean steve would know better than me but there's still oh, no, a lot there's yeah probably even more acres. let's see that's i knew yeah there's, <laughs> there's a lot. lot there's a lot oh yeah because that goes to the uh goes to the houses on pine tree yep and then it goes Up. towards orange center road more gotcha and then almost to peck and then yes. two pack that, yeah. through that yeah. angle, It'd right? Be, yeah, yeah, be behind the, you know, there's one row of houses yeah. there, and then off of High Plains, and uh, uh, what's the other road? The one across from from the fairgrounds. Nan, not Nan Drive. Yeah, Nan's in there. Yeah, Nan, yeah. Nan Drive. Yeah, it was Nan Drive. Is, that goes on, yeah, Harvester, Nan yeah. Drive, all down in there. It goes goes right know, up to those. It, uh, there's a piece of property that somebody owns between those houses and the town's property. Okay. Okay, well, uh, you know, but it's I think, a small piece. I think what we can do is we could just give our thoughts uh, to the first selectman because he's been really good in these projects mm-hmm. and Dan can convey them to the first sure. selectman and then just the thoughts because we do want to keep it in, you know, we've we've worked hard to have a 5-year plan. Right. That was part of it. Even if we take our plan and we update it, we still have the plan. We're just adapting right. it to the plan, which is yeah. a good thing. There's there's quite a bit more land down yeah. there. Oh yeah, I mean we'll, we'll get more information as it, as the spring yeah. approaches. So we'll pass that yeah, on. Yeah, I'm just curious. Yeah, good question. Because there is a lot of property up there. Which yeah. Is great. Yeah. So Sorry about that. <laughs> Just leave it on. I'm done. Just leave it on. That's okay. Uh, anything else? Okay. A motion to adjourn. So moved. Sounds good. Thank you. All approved. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a great night. Have a good night.